Welcome back to Will at Work, I'm Kevin. Today we're looking at the XGO game player. Yep, looks like a chicken. I'm trying to call it the chicken system, chicken with sunglasses, I don't know. Uh, I just unwrapped it. I, we are going to take a look at it. It's a 99 and 1 system. Uh, <clears throat> it probably has some sort of real name, but you know, it just says model WW1 and uh, it does have a website which is unusual for these kinds of things szgo.com uh, and uh, yeah it was made in China it gives you a telephone number and everything on it supports Chinese and English 5 volt 1 amp interesting Normally, uh, you know, these things are like blind. You don't know who made them or whatever because I guess they don't want any blowback from, uh, I don't know, probably taking the games that they did without a license or people wanting to redeem their warranty. <clears throat> so we have a little chicken inside a bag here. Looks like we got a carry strap and a charger, as well as an English language user manual. I don't think we'll need that since it's four buttons and a little D pad. Uh, looks like it's USB micro. It does have a cable, but I have one here, so we'll use the one I've got already plugged in. switch here. So I can put that focus there for you. So usually what they do with these is they change the names of um, well-known games and make them into something else. Although we do look like we have Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Street Fighter, King of Fighters 99, Tetris 2, Tetris, Rockman 3, it's probably Mega Man or something, Mario 16, Adventure Island. Hot Blood Soccer, RoboCop. It's kind of like a mix. Or was that Terrible Angry Birds game? Donkey Kong. I think that's really Donkey Kong. Let's look. Yeah, it's actually Donkey Kong. Uh, do we have volume? Looks like it should have volume, right? Even looks like there's a little red LED down there. Oh, it looks like we've got a couple of. Oh, there's a couple of buttons here on the side, too. Kind of like a reset. Let's see if we can get. Um, It's like some weird version of uh, Street Fighter 2 going on here. Or the original Street Fighter, maybe, yeah. This is like uh, an NES version of Street Fighter. Yeah, this is terrible. Let's get out of that. Whew. Where's the volume, though? There's no volume. Although, maybe this is like a rocker. It's just a really small rocker. Yeah, it's a rocker, but it's really tiny. i to push the top of it to get the volume up. Uh, let's look at Neo Geo support. King of Fighters 99. Uh, 
The fact that this doesn't open with the Neo Geo uh, logo makes me think this is more like, yeah, this is more like an 8-bit. It's like they've um, got a NES version of King of Fighters 99 or something on here. It's kind of unusual, really. I don't think there was uh, 8-bit versions of King of Fighters 99, but what do I know? Huh. It's almost interesting just to look at this. Not so much to play it. 8-bit fighting game. Just terrible animation. Yeah, let's get out of that. Let's find something that's not a fighter. If it's pure 8-bit, uh, that's fine, because there's plenty of good 8-bit games, like Super Mario. Uh, but we've already looked at that uh, on the show. Tetris, we don't care about Tetris. Mm, Dr. Mario, no. Robocop. I mean, we saw Donkey Kong, that looked good. Chess. Chinese chess. Othello. Ice hockey. Get into some crap now. Hyper Olympic. This particular system costs uh, about $13. <laughs> so, you know, 99 games, little handheld, cheap battery power, 13 bucks or whatever, plus shipping. I mean, there's not a lot, there's not a lot to complain about here. Even if it is kind of cheap. It, you could just totally put it on like a keychain or something and play games when you're like sitting in a waiting room. Although you could do that on your cell phone, so. Let's be good for like a little kid. Like a little kid that isn't expecting a PlayStation type graphics here or something. That kind of money, you could keep him busy for a while. So, it, it's okay. You know. It, it's like any of these tiny systems, but uh, it works okay. You gotta play with the rocker, though, to get the volume where you want it. Let's see if I take it out, if it'll stay up. Yeah. I'm sure a charge on this thing will last a long time since it's 8-bit. Um, Alright, sorry it's been blurry for you guys this whole time, but it's, I can't play the games through the camera. Uh, without a lot of delay. Although that might actually make me better at the game. So I won't make obvious mistakes. Anyway, that's it. Chicken game, we'll keep it. It's kind of funny. Little chicken game system. Uh, it's still available out there. 2021. It's currently late May of 2021. These are still for sale. Find them on like Ally Express or something. Uh, they're like 13 bucks. Thanks for watching.